So, this is um, a SCART adapter. Uh, SCART stands for something very long in French. I'm gonna put the word down here uh, so you can learn because you probably heard the name SCART before uh, but you didn't know uh, what it was short for. I didn't know. I had to go to the computer and look it up. Uh, I, I was aware it was short for something but I didn't know why. Uh, what uh, so um, it's short for something in French you will see it here or some somewhere on the screen uh, here you can see 20 different pins and each of those sends something so when the signals are coming in here uh, it goes through all those 20 pins and it's like one pin for uh, right sound, one pin for uh, left sound, one pin for the color, one of the colors and stuff like that. Uh, and so lots of stuff going on. And if you grew up with uh, VHS and you, you have probably seen these or um, some, some kind of SCART, like a SCART chord or something, and these aren't used um, anymore Th or at least if you have a flat screen and the blu-ray player and stuff like that but if you are a retro player um, these you have you probably use this because older system like Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Nintendo Entertainment System and Nintendo 64 uh, didn't have a HD output so you needed these to connect them um, to the um, to the TV, but I don't have a uh, older TV. I, I used to have a big chunky TV that I played my retro games on. Uh, I don't have it anymore, uh, or maybe I have it. It's just somewhere. Uh, so I'm playing on my um, 55 inch uh, screen. Uh, so I needed to come up with a solution for connecting all my older console to the. Um, uh, to the TV and that's what I'm gonna show you right now so we're gonna take this SCART and we're gonna head over to my little retro cabinet and I'm gonna show you my solution right so this is my little um, retro cabinet um, the lightning isn't very good but hopefully you can see if you look at a computer screen this should hopefully look better than it does in my camera and inside here is except for my Humble Amiibo collection, as you can see here, we have two of Nintendo, two Nintendo console, and it's an entertainment system, and it's a Nintendo 64. Uh, there used to be a Super Nintendo here also, but it broke down. I couldn't get it running, so just throw it away, and I'm gonna buy a new one, and then I'm gonna rearrange this whole cabinet. I will put a uh, Nintendo Entertainment System up there, and have the Super Nintendo and the N Nintendo 64 here, and all my uh, amiibo collection will go to the uh, to the gaming shelf over here and stuff like that. Um, so for now there is only two Nintendo console. There will be three. Uh, that's the point. I'm gonna use them to play on my screen here, uh, and um, and they are all connected um, by this little. Let's see if I can put the camera inside it. Here is a little tree switch SCART adapter uh, that hosts my uh, console and the trick is that you can there's a lot of short cords in here and you have these three switches so you can switch one two and three and you can switch between them and i will show you this more uh, more now uh, more later on in the video so this is it but i also have inside here and this you probably can't see, so I will put them out. Here is a old PlayStation 2. Uh, or, all right, uh, let me just get some more light. Hopefully you can see them now. So here is my old uh, PlayStation 2. I also have the old, the big old um, PlayStation 3 here. I have some uh, Disney Infinity Star Wars. Uh, uh, figurines. I have uh, a collection of different um, controllers for the older system, 
some Wii controller stuff like that. I have my TV screen, uh, TV screen polisher. There is the power for PlayStation 2. And the thing is, uh, before I get a new uh, Super Nintendo, I want to connect this um, PlayStation 2. And I'm going to use the SCART adapter um, that I put somewhere. Oh, here it is. Uh, to do that, because here is the here is the um, cord for uh, the PlayStation 2, and I'm gonna attach them to this SCART adapter. I'm gonna put it on number three, uh, so I can uh, have them all connected at the same time, and then hopefully I can just switch between uh, the NES, the Nintendo 64, and the PlayStation 2. Uh, to make them all come up on this screen. And on the back there is a single SCART cord running, as you can see here, and that connects all three of them. So I've actually managed to uh, make a hole here. Let's see if... oh, it's stuck. But the SCART goes out here somewhere. Uh, I've hide it with this little piece of wood so you can see it, you see it well now but if you see it from the outside you don't see it at all or, or you do but never mind you don't notice if notice if if you don't know it's there oh that's a complicated sentence you don't notice oh whatever if you don't know it's there you will not notice it um, <laughs> so this is the little retro cabinet uh, this is a good angle actually. The Nintendo 64, the Super, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System and the PlayStation soon to be switched over to a Super Nintendo making the little cabinet. So the plan is Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 and GameCube. That's my plan for this cabinet. Uh, but for now we're gonna connect uh, uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, so I'm gonna sw switch off the camera for a while, connect it, and then we will see if it works. Alright, so the Nintendo Entertainment System is running right now uh, with Super Mario Bros. Uh, Bros. 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 Super Mario Bros. Uh, and it's connected to the first one here. So when you press 1 here you get the, um, here, you get the Super Nintendo, and then you can press 2, which I just did, and you get the Nintendo 64 displaying uh, F-Zero, and then you can press number 3, and then you get Final Fantasy uh, on PlayStation. Um, so that's the whole um, point, that I just can go over here, with my little finger, I can press number one. I get the NES. I press number two. I get the Nintendo 64. I press number three. I get the PlayStation One or um, so the so Nintendo. So it will be number one Nintendo um, Entertainment System, number two Super Nintendo, number three Nintendo 64, and then I will. Uh, buy a new SCART adapter with, with many more uh, but that was the uh, we only had on my work we only had one with three switches but I need one with like six switches because I want all the older system connected at the same time uh, but it's it, it's very convenient um, and right now there's a lot of cords in here I will put my little Nintendo aside so you can see the ID um, so there's a lot of different here, but it all connects very great to this one. Uh, and my next assignment will be to um, clean up the cords. I use some strips here to shorten them down, but now there's a lot of them, uh, so I will take like 10 minutes to get this organized. Uh, but it works very well. Number one, number two, number three. And let's switch in real time, number one, number two, number three, and there we have it. So, 
three consoles connected at the same time. Uh, I don't need to take out anything to make it run. I just need to press a button here. Very easy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked uh, what I did here. Uh, you. This was just to show you how I made it all work. Uh, let's close the cabinet and we have the console neatly tucked away and we have them all running on the TV. Uh, so yeah, that was fun to show you my little way of having all our console um, connected. Thank you guys and bye. See you again soon. <laughs> bye bye.